Now when your Starlink wire comes, it's going to have these little plastic caps on it. Oh, come off and go back on. Keep those on it while you're running your wire. They keep uh, wall insulation, sawdust, everything from entering into that micro USB port. And all those can damage your fittings. The other thing of concern when we get up there is uh, this little rubber boot seal right here. And notice I'll show you up top. It doesn't really seat and lock into the dish. It does put it, it's meant to provide a seal. And while most Starlink stuff is ex engineered extremely well, this is kind of proven to be a little fail point, one of the biggest ones on there. You have to push that up in there and then you want to seal it with a little sealing tape on the outside because uh, it can get moisture, can make it through these seals, get in here and short it out when the dish heater kicks on or for a variety of other things. That has by, been by far the biggest issue I've seen with Starlink so far. Just to kind of go over a point I was talking about earlier, this is seated up in here, but you see how you still have some play in there? That's where I believe water penetration, humidity, and we're out here in Forks, Washington. There's a lot of humidity, one of the heaviest rainfall areas in the country. So just once we get this seated all and mounted here, I'm gonna take some tape and I'm just gonna seal that up just to hold it up there. Do not, as a person that called me did, squirt sealant or silicone inside. You can foul your fittings. But just a nice wrap of some waterproof tape around the outside should help avoid that humidity issue. So make sure and seal it at the top good. And you use a couple of zip ties to bring it down your mount or your pole. And then these are the screw clips, RG6 basic screw clips that come with a Starlink if you have a, uh, if you buy a mount. If not, you can get them at an electronic store or order them online. I do not like to use staples. Uh, staples can com that can compromise cable with a pinch. But just remember when you're running it, all your corners need to be soft and curved. You don't want any sharp angles. You don't want anything that can stress or damage the cable. 